but that's still very loud in my ears. Recording? Yep. You recording? Yep. Let's get on with this shiznit, shall we? Hello everyone, this is Cosgook, and welcome to the channel. We are coming back to Silent Age. We're on chapter 5 called The Corpse. Now inside the hospital, Joe hopes to find the time traveller and hopefully learn more. Yeah, like who the fuck is he? Let's restart that one then. Because, you know, you can't start with the chapters, you have to... Yes. You go straight from one chapter to the next, so let's restart this one. Eyeball, itchy, ow, itchy eyes. <laughs> I hear someone moving. And I just realised there's a point and click. Dumbass! Oh. I had my Xbox controller in my hand. I need to remember this is a point and click game. Fuck. Now strip. Go. So, you know, I really need more USB ports on this thing. <laughs> oh, where's the mouse itself gone? Where's the mouse? Ah, in between my legs on the floor. Okay. Shoo. Where's the police officer and the pig gone? Okay. What's this? Locked, yep. Any more? Let's go in. I don't like this part of the future. An ambulance, please. Car battery, will I take that? Yep. Ouch. Ow! You just shocked yourself on a car battery. Well done. Tire. Looks like someone's changing the tire. I must find tools. If I can just find all the finished stuff, the ambulance would prove really useful. Okay. Um, boop. Boop. I think the battery's good. Won't do much in a three wheel car, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm still not liking this. no car. There is now. So I might get to escape with an ambulance. That'd be amazing. So where does this lead? Do I go outside? I won't get far on foot. Getting here was hard enough and that was barely a block and a half. Okay. Die. Let's go. Okay. I really hope we don't come across anything. Fire iron. Locked, locked. Ooh, hello. Okay, vision test. E, another E, another E, E. It's an E. They really should mix up the letters. It's way too easy to cheat on these tests. Oh. I see a W. Huh. Dirty calendar. <coughs> Man, it's dirty. So, 17th of May. Oh, hang on. Monday, May 17th. It's also Monday, May 17th. It's today's date, so... Whatever's gonna happen in the future is gonna happen today. Uh -huh. There's a tight iron, not a lockpick. Fair enough. <laughs> Bingo! These are patient's files, and of course the cabinet's locked. Oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> It's like a floor caved under the weight of the desk. Ah, oh, so maybe the files are downstairs. Okay, let's go. But I prefer to be in the normal time because I don't like the feeling. More bones, more people, yay. Ugh. Okay. Ah, uh, right. 
it's clearing up. It'll get dark in a few hours, though. I better get going. Yeah, I bet when it gets dark, something's going to be out there and say, Hello! Don't tell me it's the end of chapter 5 just to get the bloody ambulance going. You may not be a janitor, but you could be a mechanic. You may be a janitor, but you could... Do you are locked, handyman. I'm ready to go, I just need a time traveller's address. Okay, do I jump down that hole, I wonder. I bet I do. It's locked. Wow. Oop, shit. Rain. Not good for me today. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you go in there. Do I go down? Gaping hole in the floor. Yeah, I see. Do I go down? Yeah. Okay, I'll go down. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Oh! Hi, you! Pair of scissors. Ow! Oh, doy, they use for cutting skin and flesh and god knows what else. Hmm. Reginald Lambert, no address. Probably don't put the zombies and tags, I guess. Doy. He's dead. It was a long shot, but I kind of hoped he had somehow survived. The only way to get answers now, I guess, I need to find out where he lives. Well, lived. I don't know if at least we were getting Christian Ziva. I might have one last shot. I'm finding some answers on his, at his pad, though. Just need to find his address. I should bring it with me. Doi. Just don't cut his toe off, please. Well, from the outside, I don't want to worry about why that's necessary. Oh god, another body. Yay. Cables. Sure, lose, use the light, but there is no power. Broken x ray board. Glass is broken, but the bulbs in there seem fine. I wonder if they still work. Only the power wasn't out. Oh crap. Hello. x ray board. The inside is some guy, obviously, but I have no idea why any of this stuff is. Most of it looks really bad balloon animals. Dust drawer. There's a key in there. Grab the key. It's a car key! The ambulance key! It looks like it's one of the ambulances. I have no idea why a doctor would keep a spare key in his desk, but I'm not complaining. Okay. Can I talk to him? Very focused on where these busy were. Better not disturb him. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Oh, bullshit. Hang on. Yeah, I just realised. Uh huh. Let's go in there. And there's a doctor. <laughs> yes, yeah, the filing cabinet, you tit. Oh my god. So, the file should be in there, yeah? Skeleton. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Toe tag. File cabinet. Oh, come on. What? Ugh. Oh. These shelves are full of jars of weird things in them. No kidding. Now the weird things are gone. That's weird. Ow, ow, ow. So, hang on, hang on. I'll try and use that on the flying cabinet. I'm lost again. Yes, I know. What about here? Maybe. Great idea. Too bad the cabinet's up. Maybe I can find a key. Crap. Uh, about to get the key. Yeah. Is there a key in the desk? Oh god, fuck me. Maybe there's a key in the ambulance? I don't know, in this game anything works. So I know where to go. Oh, this is driving me potty now. Hang on. 
thing on what? Uh, looks like an upside down tree of some kind. It's a pair of lungs, you idiot! Oh, I can actually see before. When you've been working here as long as they have, honey, probably like that. Why is this poxy key? Oh, and the filing cabinet is right there. Can't I just look inside? Oh my gosh, please. Spotlight. It's a spotlight. No kidding. Oh. I feel you from over there is no power. And there's nothing else here to look at. Jesus, what am I missing? Oh! Hello! Wow. Nummy! Lazy, actually works. I didn't think of it. And there's the key to the filing cabinet. Oh, I know what it's for, mate. I just robbed you in the future. Oh, oh man. Ah, itchy. My head actually hurts a lot less at the back now because I managed to fix it. Because there was a piece of fabric right at the back of my hand that was digging into my head. And of course, key, doy, boom. I know this fish file is too alright, too bad. They all have file numbers and not names. I need the right number to find this file. Uh, toe tag. Nice. Jackpot. Lambert's medical file. There's an address on it. One Insular Grove Lake. Crickton? That's pretty far out of town. I need a ride. Yeah, guess what? I've already got the ride set up for you so we can get the hell out of here. Oh. Time trouble. Get in the door. Time trouble. Get your keys. Get in the ambulance. Go! Okay, so... Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. God, help Maybe there's me nothing I can is. do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Live life to the full, mate. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? I hope you did. God, I hope I brought enough gas. Oh gosh, are we there yet? Nice place. Right, well, this is the end of chapter 6. I didn't get lost nearly as long as I did last time. And we even got to see a nice little cinematic at the end of it. Giddy! Okay, so, um, later take us. Until the next time. And this better have not been a waste of my time. I'll tell you that now.